I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Hui Win, the CTO and co-founder of Cardia Chain. Hui, welcome to the show, and it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you very much, Ashton. It's nice to be here. Likewise, I'd love to kick off our discussion, Hui, with just hearing a little bit of your background in the blockchain, sp blockchain space and how that led to you starting Cardia Chain. Right. Yeah. So thank you. Um, so before Cardia, I um, I'm a tech lead manager at Google for about ten years, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was at Google that I first learned about you know blockchain technologies in general. Mm -hmm. So I was a lead in one of the decentralization project where you do the consensus for bidding of the LTE and the frequency um, uh, for for um, uh, for the government, right? Um, so that, that is where blockchain and the whole decentralization idea comes, and I embrace it. Uh, uh, it's actually long, long times ago, even before the Bitcoin search in uh, 2017. Mm. And um, that is then that I figure blockchain can be a game changer. Um, and I really like to uh, involve more and get to know more about that technology in general. Um, so, uh, yeah, the times come, um, three years ago, about 2018, um, we, we figured the problems of um, interoperability in blockchain space, mm -hmm. and uh, we came up with the career chain idea. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And that's interesting that you worked at Google. When I was at, in Vietnam for blockchain, there was a huge Google developer team, and it seemed you know, one of the most prominent areas out of all of the countries that I've spoken in. So that's really interesting. And now you've been working on Cardia Chain for, as you mentioned, um, like three years now, and it's finally launching the main launch, which is exciting. Can you start by just giving a brief overview of you know, the goals of the Cardia blockchain, the overview of the ecosystem? Right. So uh, it took three years. It's a long time. So when we when we started, um, the whole idea was very tech oriented. We tried to build something that is spectacular that can connect all the blockchains together. So we have the first um, uh, prototype where we can do the DAX of uh, Ethereum, Neo, and uh, Tron, like late 2018. Um, it was even before EOS or Cosmos come up with the mainnet. Right. I was super excited. Um, but then we figure that in order to bring blockchain um, to real use case, we need more than that. We need a real mass adoption. Mm -hmm. And that was why um, late 2018, we came back to Vietnam uh, through some of the programs that the government created. And we saw a huge potential uh, over here where there is no legacy infrastructure. There is a golden age uh, generation. Right? Uh, and people here just embrace the, any new thing. So um, our team decided to move from London and uh, Silicon Valley back to Vietnam in 2019. Mm -hmm. And we sort of reprint our strategy a little bit to target more on the mass adoptions uh, mm -hmm. and starting uh, in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, so the slogan, our slogan right now is accessible blockchain for the millions. Mm -hmm. um, and that is what we are trying to target. Um, we have a clear goal and a pretty... Uh, um, how to put it, a different way of doing it uh, because we can work with the governments and enterprise um, mm -hmm. over here in Vietnam. Uh, we try to have them blockchainize their solution. So whatever mm -hmm. existing service that they have, we, we offer the blockchain technologies um, in, the, in the background. Mm -hmm. um, we, 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 we try to separate the concept of cryptocurrency out of blockchain uh, necessarily. So um, we believe that the in five years, blockchain will be everywhere, mm -hmm. similar to how AI and machine learning mm -hmm. is, you know, uh, revamping the, the industry right now. Uh, you probably don't feel it, but it is somewhere, right? <laughs> like you do email, you do Google search, you probably don't know that AI is spreading over the places. Mm -hmm. So um, blockchain will be like that. And, um, and we try to build a blockchain infrastructure that can serve that very purposes. And at some point, you will see all the Vietnamese people using our cardiac chain one way or another. Mm -hmm. That's great, Hui. And you mentioned you have a very unique way of doing things, and you have some interesting partnerships, as you mentioned, with the government and, and different corporations. So that's uh, a, definitely a unique selling point. Would you say that there's one specific thing or some specific section of what makes cardiac chain the most unique 
uh, in terms of the technology in the blockchain space? Right. So um, we um, uh, technologies wise, um, our dual node technologies is considered a very unique selling point is a first non invasive uh, interoperability um, uh, technologies to let different blockchain communicate with each other without changing their uh, infrastructures. Right. So we demo that by showing um, Neo team uh, and Tron's team that we non invasively join the system mm -hmm. and bring their data to another blockchain and, and cross it completely through our smart contract way. The Neo team was uh, pretty impressed about that. And uh, we have a partnership with them uh, soon after. Mm -hmm. So we can have continue bringing in more blockchain into our ecosystem. So that technology is, um, is very cool on the public space. Uh, but actually, it brings a lot more value when you think about private blockchain like governments or enterprise, they all want to have their own blockchains, right? Because they don't want to share everything to the public. But there will be a certain point in time where they would need to cross each other and share the data. For example, if you're one university, you want to share the score with, uh, you know, like employer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how, how you would best do it without exposing unnecessary data. So um, we applying the do or not concept across the border of public and private. So they can mm -hmm. go through cardiac and share what they want to share and Cardia would be the decentralized entities to, to verify those records for them. So that was a pretty uh, strong selling point to most of the uh, enterprise and, and, and government that we, that we have in, in Vietnam. Um, we strike some pretty uh, good partnership deal uh, with LG CNS, for example, because um, they're trying to do, they have a Mona chain and they want to do something similar for the smart city concepts mm -hmm. where everybody share with everybody, right? Um, then uh, we, 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 we have multiple contracts with the government in general, uh, telco company, uh, education uh, services, um, even the Viet football uh, federations, the Vietnamese people really love football. Um, and, and also some of the biggest um, uh, enterprise in Vietnam, like uh, Lesimco or, uh, you know, uh, Sovico, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Very interesting, and that's great to have all those partnerships upon the launch of the mainnet. You already have really solid partnerships. Now, this has been a long time in the coming. As you said, three years working on Cardia Chain test nets and figuring out all the kinks and going through challenges. And now the mainnet has just launched today. So congratulations on that. Um, this is quite the Thank time. You. Uh, what what does this mean for Cardia Chain now, and just for the blockchain industry now that you've launched the mainnet? So the mainnet is a significant event for our journey. Uh, it's even bigger than got listing or got investing or any of such thing because it means a real journey has begun. Right? Um, it's really a new chapter in in our company history. So now um, everybody could see it publicly how how much Cardia could be used and uh, empower mm -hmm. the, the people. Um, so today, um, Mainnet um, was more like a, a small uh, version, a, a small test crowd with only 100 sub people who do the early token swap that can come mm -hmm. in and start playing and, and stacking and delegating mm -hmm. and see how the whole system works. Um, um, in about a month or so, we're going to open the token breach mm. uh, swap, mm. and then you're going to see a vast majority of Kai holder will come on board and, and start to see it applied to the mass adoption. So we already have a Kai membership app, which is an app we use mainly in Vietnam for Kai holder in Vietnam. Mm. Um, and we have, uh, up to today, I think we have almost 150,000 uh, account already. Wow. Um, and our goal is to reach a million user mm -hmm. by middles of the year. Um, of course, the like Vietnamese people, they don't hold so much Kai. They probably hold like 10, hundreds of Kai only. Mm -hmm. um, but I think mass adoption start here, start with small. And then eventually when people see the, 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 the useful uh, mm -hmm. things that we can bring for them, then they will start using it more. So um, the, the main net today is really, really spectacular. Um, we, we want to monitor the situation and see how things go. So far, it has been good in, in general, mm -hmm. and uh, we truly hope that uh, it is a new beginning.
That's great to hear. And that's amazing to hear that you already have 150,000 users on the membership application. And I wanted to talk about you know, the steps moving forward for Cardia Chain, having that, you know, you, you mentioned accessibility and interoperability, and I think those are going to be two major factors that are going to help grow Cardia Chain network. Uh, but to have a solid network with a lot of uh, users that are actively using the network, you need to have more applications and dApps and deploying smart contracts, people actually using the network. I'm guessing you know you guys are focused on some kind of strategy to have more development inside of the application, um, incentivize developers to create applications, whether they're from moving from other blockchains uh, to develop on Cardia Chain or uh, people that have other programming languages to start developing. Are you incentivizing developers or how are you going to help grow the actual de decentralized application ecosystem? Right. So uh, we approach it with, with three fronts. Um, the first one is we already have um, uh, real application use in our private blockchain solution that we offer mm -hmm. to enterprise. So for example, if they want to use it to track uh, certain things, right? Or they want to use a supply chain, some of the partner already have Cardia Chain uh, running in their, in their uh, private network and, and have their app developed already. Those could be considered as one, uh, one type of developer and, and decentralized app that we already have. It's just mm -hmm. in the private blockchain, but we can uh, find a way to cross it and make it into the public. That is one thing. Second way is, um, Cardia is actually using the EVM compatible, so we're mm -hmm. using Solidity mm -hmm. for, for our main chain uh, smart contract. Um, so a lot of uh, Ethereum developers and decentralized apps can just come natively to, to Cardia chain mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and start using us. So um, we, um, we are supporting more than 6,000 TPS uh, and uh, five second confirmation time, actually three, three to five, and 10,000 times cheaper than Ethereum. So there is a lot of um, reason why people can uh, can build something on us. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we, we did that uh, for the sake of the Vietnamese people because we don't have $10 for each Ethereum transaction. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we make it cheaper right, at the cost of the network, but it's fine. Um, the, the third thing is, of course, we're going to have to hold a certain uh, you know, price competition and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing to attract the newcomers to, to come and, 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 and develop on Korea chain. Uh, in about three months, we'll uh, open the uh, uh, cross chain, the dual node services. So then you can actually write the smart contract to cross from one blockchain mm -hmm. to another, right? Uh, and I think that will be a very important unique selling point that a uh, developer can start writing uh, thing apps that they cannot do before. For example, if you have a crypto kitties on Ethereum, you could now exchange for a crypto kitties on Neo. Right mm. um, at the same time through Cardia Chain, mm -hmm. uh, but of course that is uh, no simple thing. Um, we need to make it SDK and API very friendly for mm -hmm. developer to to utilize it completely. Um, so right now they can do it, but it's a little more hacky way that very hard for developer can do. But we need to make a language that we call KSML, like a markup language for mm -hmm. Cardia, so people <laughs> can can use it uh, easier. Definitely. And that was interesting. You mentioned the the scalability uh, is already seems like it could be potentially ready for some major decentralized applications that have you know thousands of users on them all doing transactions. So uh, sounds like your team is ready to roll when you have more applications as the ecosystem continues to grow. Now we're running short on time, Hui, but I want to talk about 2021 for Cardia Chain. Can you talk about what are the next steps to getting to the major part of the mainnet is are there dates around that and are there any other major milestones that you're looking to hit in 2021 sure so uh, yeah so we plan to have three important uh, upgrade for the mainnet coming uh, 2021 so um uh, we will start with the very clear goal that by the end of the year we should have a million users um, on cardia Right. Um, so from there, we would we, we break down into the three major milestones. Mm -hmm. So uh, soon after the minute launch, like I say, in about a month, uh, probably two months maximum, we're going to open the gate for everybody to come on board. So it's going to be a complete uh, token swap from ESC20 to the native uh, mm -hmm. token. That would mean multiple things. That would mean the network needs to be stable. It would mean all of the support for a wallet or a chain needs to be done. 
and and also all of the technical standard like the token listing nft uh defined to be ready so we can we can take in everyone that's one thing second um uh, come middles of the year we'll we'll complete the whole cross chain technologies uh with a uh, with a markup language sort of ready so people can start writing smart contract cross chain mm -hmm. um, um that would, that would create a new kinds of the apps that people have been trying to do for for long uh the um uh and then that could also help with the private uh blockchain team to to start you know exposing the app to the public and come to the end of the year we plan to completely open the gate for the private sector to start joining our public chain like cross mm -hmm. them completely so then all of the solution we built today for the government and the enterprise can come to light and uh, that is where i believe the true hybrid blockchain solution for enterprise and government could come to place mm -hmm. wow, that's very ambitious and i definitely see interoperability and as a key theme not just between blockchains but between private and public blockchains as well so all the best on that hui now if the viewers are looking to follow along get involved develop start using cardia chain what's the best way for them to join the community and to learn more right they can um yeah so we were welcoming uh, all of the the, the 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 new you know investor developers or just curious about the project to join our uh, communities um you can check us out at cardiachain.io or you can join our twitter at cardiachain or join telegram mm -hmm. at cardiachain officials we have a good ambassador program mm -hmm. team where they'll onboard you sounds great we i will leave those links in the description box below Thank you so much for taking the time to speak. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. All the best on the mainnet launch for Cardia and throughout 2021. And let's follow up in the near future. Thank you very much, Aston. It has been a pleasure talking to you. And thank you for the committee as well.